I buy it uh, as a reward for myself after I've been working so hard for more than a century. <coughs> century? It's not century. It's 10 years. But you know what is the word of 10 years? <sighs> a few moments later. Decade! It's decade! It's not century! Cut, cut, cut. <coughs> hey guys! If you're making a decision to buy a new MacBook, yeah, you become at the right place. So you still have the question like should I buy the best model of i7 or i9 or should I do the upgrade one that they call CTO, configure to order. So today I'm gonna help you make a decision in order to find the best mass spec that can fit with your budget. Let's get started. Hi guys, my name is Ben. Welcome to my channel. And this is my first video clip that I have made from 16 inch MacBook Pro 2019 model. This one. And there are two reasons that I bought this. First, I would like to learn video editing stuff. And I have made two video clips for my kids. If you are interested, you can click the link above here. And please subscribe and follow her channel. It's named as Salmon on Earth. Thank you. And the second reason is that I would like to buy as a reward for myself after I've been working so hard for almost a decade. Yeah. And this is my um, second daughter already, so I left my real daughter behind for a while. Yeah. Before buying this MacBook, I have done so many researching from browsing in the internet and also searching from other YouTuber channel because I was having a lot of questions at the time that this model I should buy. Um, there's MacBook Air, MacBook Pro, and between MacBook Pro there are so 13 inch, 16 inch, and between these two there are so many configurations that you could set up. Yeah, so I need to make sure that I buy the right model under my budget and not all pay for the thing that I might not use in the future so that this MacBook can uh, last uh, with me yes, for 4-5 for years yeah so let's see what I've done if you go to the Mac category in the Apple website you can see that there are so many Mac products which are MacBook Air, MacBook Pro 13 inch and 16 inch iMac, Mac Pro, and Mac Mini. I will focus on only some products today. So, if you are the one who normally works or uses your computer at home, and you want a high-performance Apple computer with fair price, maybe iMac is your option. But if portability really matters to you, let's consider MacBook Air and MacBook Pro together. First. MacBook Air with the new Apple M1 chip. If you use it, it's mostly on web browsing, social media, Netflix, Spotify, blog, or document stuff, and you always do one task at a time. I would recommend you to buy a MacBook Air, which would already cover up your usage with affordable price. MacBook Air it is lightweight and also has longer battery life than MacBook Pro 13 inch. Just that it has no touch bar, smaller trackpad, less thunderbolt ports, and had only one fan for thermal control, unlike MacBook Pro 16 inch. Another good thing is the design is quite beautiful, as it is flatter than MacBook Pro and also has a rose gold color. So sweet and luxury, I would say. Second, MacBook Pro 13 inch, which Apple provides two options for base models that are Apple M1 chip and Intel Core i5 processors which you can upgrade it to i7 also. For the 13 inch one, they have come with a touch bar for customized shortcuts of the app like the 16 inch model and with one fan for thermal control like MacBook Air. It can support multitasking for several applications running at once. And other than normal usage like MacBook Air, they can support basic photo and video editing. So, if you want to control your budget and you're fine with 13 inch skin size, please go with this model. It suits with the Legura photo and video editor. 
But if you are taking it serious on photo and video editing or other stuff like music production, 3D rendering, or even gaming, and you really like the bigger skin and trackpad, where I can say that it's just a personal preference, maybe 16 inch MacBook Pro is your option to go. Because it has dedicated graphic card and two fans for thermal control, unlike the MacBook Air and 13 inch MacBook Pro, which can support running high intensity of apps for a long period of time. Furthermore, it has the best speaker for music listening and also the best microphone for podcast recording. So, it would be suitable for the one with serious work like high end photo and video editor, music producers, or gamers. Yeah, we are serious. Actually, it's just for all the works because it's the best MacBook model of Apple now. Then, if 16 in MacBook Pro is your target right now, next, I will share you about how I find the best math spec of this model for myself. Looking at 16 inch best model i7 and i9, these two models have two different specs of processors, memory, and storage, which cost different prior $400. And if we try to do the upgrade from these models to have the same specs exactly, you can see that the price is also the same. So no matter which mid model you're gonna choose for the upgrade, it will cost the same. Therefore, I would say, let's find out what is really the specs you need first, and then you will see which model you're gonna start from. So here, I'm gonna show you all upgrade possibilities that Apple is providing for each of the best models. First, the processors. It starts from the Intel Core i7, which I highlighted in pink color. Second, i9 one with 2.3 GHz in blue. And the last one, i9 with 2.4 GHz in green. So, T options for the processors. Next, move to the memory. The same for both models. Apple provides three options of 16, 32, and 64 GB of memory. And another thing is the graphics. For i7 model, it starts from 5300M with 4GB memory, whereas the i9 starts from 55M. In total, there are 4 options to be chosen, which the maximum one is 5600M with 8GB memory. And the last one, storage. 5 options here for i7, starting from 512GB to 8TB. And for i9, starting from higher, 1TB to 8TB. Oh, so many options here. I almost lost the focus with specs I would need. It was super hard for me also to make a decision to get the right combination for myself. So I want to recommend you to just focus on the memory and storage first as they are the things that we can physically see the performance and capacity result from choosing them. Unlike the processors and the graphics one, which we could not really imagine how those specs are different technically, because we all just need a thing that is good enough for our user's purpose and under our budget. Let's focus on the memory first. You might have a question like, is it worth upgrading the memory? There is also someone saying that the biggest mistake is choosing too little or too much memory. Just to remember that 16 inch MacBook Pro cannot be upgraded later, so you need to choose the right one when you buy it only. 16 GB memory is just with the one who mostly do one task at a time, like doing video editing purely and later on doing photo editing. For multitasking guys who open Final Cut Pro, Photoshop, like Zoom with many browser tabs or windows open, listening to the music at the same time and documenting on pages, keynote or numbers, woo, super productive I would say. So please go with 32GB memory then. And for 64GB memory, it doesn't give massive gain and improvement much only if you need to run multiple virtual machines 
Yeah, you can go with this. For the storage, it depends on how you plan to use your MacBook. As the SSD price is quite high, so don't overspend on the storage. Only buy what you need. If you have limited budget, go with 512 gigabyte and just back up your data to the external storage. But if you mostly keep the ton of photos or videos footage in the laptop and also travel a lot, please go with one terabyte storage. For 4K video editing, which could take so much space, is it your choice to go with two, four, or eight terabyte, depending on your budget? Actually. But I would recommend either the 512GB or 1TB to you in order to save your money to buy the external storage instead which is really much cheaper than the Apple's one. And finally, this is the memory and storage that I chose for my MacBook. It is 32GB memory and 1TB storage which the thing is the most match fits my user's purpose. And the rest, which are processors and graphics, I will just choose the minimum specs to see the total price first. For the graphic of 5300M with 4GB memory, it would give you the best value if you are doing just photo editing. By upgrading this, it doesn't give the huge gain, just 10 to 20% performance increase. Is it from looking at the test by other YouTubers' channels? But if you are a gamer, going with 5500M or 5600M of 8GB memory will highly provide you the performance gain. So the final price right now for i7 is $2739 with the memory and storage upgrade to meet my user's purpose. And another side of i9, it costs $2959 for upgrading just the memory. Which you can see that it differs around $200. So now it's time for you to make a decision if paying more $220 will be worth to invest for the processor to be upgraded from Core i7 to i9 and also for the graphic of 53M to 55M with 4GB memory. Also, there is a performance test I have seen between i7 with 32GB memory and i9 with 16GB memory. And it turns out that the i7 with 32GB memory beats the i9 one with only 16GB memory. The test result shows me that even i9 got defeated due to the memory bottleneck. To summarize from latest result analysis, if you have limited budget, please go upgrade the memory over the processors like the left options here. But if you have higher budget, why not go with i9 with 32GB options at the right one in case you think that $220 is affordable. So I think it should be easier for you already after we have been cutting out a lot of choices and factors together. Finally, I would like to say that this might not be the best technique for everyone, but for me, it helped me a lot and make me sure that this is the best mass spec with me. So let's guess if I chose the left or right options and comment down below. Hope this video could help you make a decision easier as I intentionally make this video in English version so it reached many audience yeah, our viewers around the world and yeah hope it's benefit you guys to find the right MacBook within your budget and maybe you don't have budget right if you come to the Apple product yeah maybe you made decisions already and you just come here for the getting confirmation to buy Am I right? Because I was like that too. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoy watching this video and please don't forget to click subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye bye! Yeah. But this is
this one, yeah, so do this one. Right? And you can do some stuff. Okay, let's try, let's try. Let's try. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi guys! Hi guys! Hi guys! My name is Ben. This is my this is my first video clip. This is my first video clip. This is my first. This is my first video clip. And this is my first video clip that's made from 2019. This is my first video clip that made from MacBook Pro sitting in. And this is my first video clip of my channel that's made from 2019's MacBook Pro. So, so today I'm gonna share you um yeah. hope, hope this video could help you. I hope this video could help you make a decision easier at I internationally because I would like to um and the second reason is that I buy it uh, as a reward for myself after I've been working so hard for more than a century century it's not century it's 10 years but you know what is the word of 10 years <sighs> A few moments later. Decade, it's decade, it's not century. Cut, cut, cut. Yeah, it is key. Second reason is that I will to buy as a reward for myself after I have been working so hard for a decade. And after buying, uh, not after, before buying this, right? Are you mad? 